Hello, Hope Church. We just wanted to take this opportunity to share a few thoughts about our upcoming in-person Sunday gatherings. And here is all the information that you will need to know. So Chris, great to be together. Are, how excited are you about Sunday gatherings? Well, I'll tell you, Mike, uh, just how excited I am. We had a, just a flavor, just a taste of what it's like to meet together uh, when we had our hope drive-ins through the summer. Uh, and much as I'd love to meet in six feet of snow in a field, not everybody's quite keen on that. So we we're looking to make different arrangements. And, and it, just, it just strikes me how important it is, how much difference it makes to meet in person because um, Hope at Home is great. We're great to have the technology that we can um, actually uh, sort of join together online, but it's just not the same uh, and it's not the way God intended it. And, and we just believe, or well, certainly for me, it makes a huge difference that we can meet in person and are lo looking forward to, to starting this very soon. But what about you, Mike? Why do you think it's so important? Well, I be believe, you know, we as the church, we are the temple of God. We are the, his living stones. We're being built into something beautiful. And that's not about a building. That's about us, his people. And so when we come and gather in his name, Jesus promises that he will be there. So his spirit is moving among us. So there's something dynamic happening when we gather in person on Sundays. And that's what excites me. So, so good that we can do this. So Chris, um, what, what's the plan then? What, what is this going to look like going forward over the coming weeks? Right, here's the plan. So get a piece of paper and a pencil and write it down if you can't remember. So the first Sunday uh, of each month is going to be Life Mission Sunday. So that's when you meet together, you make your own arrangements as a Life Mission group. Uh, whatever it, shape it might take, that's up to you. For the second and the third Sunday, um, we're going to meet in Hope Central. Uh, there's going to be two, um, two meetings, um, they'll be a little bit shorter uh, and we're, we're obviously restricted to the number of people. So there'll be back-to-back -back meetings at Hope Central on the second and third Sunday morning. And on the fourth Sunday of the month, that's Cinema Church. And we're really, really excited about that because we've, uh, we've been in discussion with, uh, with Gala Shields Pavilion. Uh, we're going to get to use the, the Screen One uh, auditorium. Um, and we'll be taking all the necessary precautions, but, but that's going to be church in the marketplace. It's going to be something quite exceptional, um, but it's going to be just so good um, and so different. Uh, so we're really looking forward to that and see what shape it takes. Um, so I hope you've got a note of that. First Sunday, Life Mission. Second and third Sundays, Hope Central. And the fourth Sunday is Cinema Church at Gallish Hills Pavilion. But Mike... What about the kids and the youth? Yes, so obviously, kids, youth, big part of our church, and we love you guys. We love that you are so part of things with us. And so because of that, what we want to do, because we're kind of regathering all together again, the first few services, so the first service um, in the cinema at the end of this month, the 29th, we're going to meet all together, so kids and youth, are welcome to become a part of that. And, and we're gonna tailor things appropriately so that it's for all ages. But then going forward, um, after that, as we get into December, we will be creating um, some, some space for kids and youth activities, just like we were doing before, albeit with different restrictions in place. So Chris, um, what would you say to people if they're kind of looking at this thinking, I I'm not sure, about actually in-person gatherings? I'm a bit cautious, I'm a bit worried, I'm a bit concerned about COVID. What, what would you say to people that are thinking that? Yeah, and I say it's quite reasonable that people do ask that question. Um, um, the, the truth is we're going to take all precautions that are, are within the guidelines. There'll be the, the physical um, separation um, between the seats. Um, there'll be the limit, we're limited to the numbers, which is why we have to have two services on the Sundays when we're meeting in person so we can get enough people through. Um, we're also going to, so there, there are still people out there who, who, who it's going to be just a bit too much or, or whether they have to, um, to, to um, what's the word? Shield. Shield, shield that's the word. Uh, the ones that have to shield may, may not be able to come along. Uh, but we don't want to leave you out. It's very important. Um, so if you can't get along to it for those reasons or any other reason, uh, we're looking to live stream because 
what, what we're looking to see is, is that experience of meeting with God. And, and I, I just think being able to do it, um, do it live or to, to, to tune in live as it's actually happening um, will, will able to enable you to be part of that. I, that's why we're going to quite a lot of effort to, to put that in place and we hope it, it works well. Uh, and we, we don't know until the first time we do it, but the, the separations in place, the hand washing, the face coverings, um, where the, the worship will be uh, somewhat, um, how can I put it, a little bit um, restrained, uh, but not, 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 not altogether impossible. So you know, we have to wear safe mask, safe masks. What's the word? Face masks, face. even a face mask um, while you're singing quietly. So that there's a sort of quiet um, worship experience. So we'll have the band there. Uh, they'll be obviously separated themselves on the on the stage, um, and they'll they'll be uh, like like quiet singing, worshipful singing, so you can be part of it. Um, does that cover everything? I think, I think so. so. In terms of just just observing the working within the restrictions. Um, but, I'm sorry, I'm not, I can't find the next question. <laughs> but I'm working on it. Don't edit this out. Just give me a second. Uh, uh, but those that might be thinking, do we need the restrictions? Do we need the restrictions? Okay, sorry, Mike. So, Mike, what about people that say, do we actually need these restrictions? Why don't we just meet um, as, as we normally would? Yeah, and, and that's a fair question. And, what I would say is there's a wide range of views about coronavirus, about our responses to coronavirus. We see that in society. And we as church, we're part of that. We're, we're part of the culture around us. We're part of this community. And so we have to respond appropriately. As, as church leaders, we believe that certainly at, the, at this stage, what we want to be doing is obeying our government authorities, honouring them. We believe that it is right to do that. And so we believe that it's right to work within the restrictions. But there's another side to this, because what we want to do is the loving thing. The most loving thing we can do is care for one another and care for our community and make sure that we don't pass COVID on. Because if we were to do that, if we were to get a, bit, a little bit reckless, and, and we did, well, how would we live with ourselves? Because ultimately, this is a pandemic, ultimately there is a health risk here. And so we want to take all the steps necessary to really love one another, care for one another, and love and care for our community. So yes, things will look different, but we believe that that's something that, that is right, and, and we need to do that at this time. And Obviously, gatherings are going to look a bit different, Chris. You've said about the worship and, and, and other things like, like, like that. Are there any other reflections on that that you would see that people need to prepare themselves for and in terms of just being different to how things were before? Yeah, um, it, it's just what, what we're looking for is this experience of, of meeting with God because that's his promise. When we gather in his name, he's there in our midst and that's what we're looking to do within the guidelines, within the restrictions um, uh, and, and honouring uh, one another uh, and, and the, the rules that the government's put in place. Um, and the other thing is, um, unfortunately, you can't just turn up at the door of the cinema or Hope Central. We're going to have to have a booking system so that we know who's coming so some of you will be family groups, obviously, um, uh, and they would be able to sit together, but we have to um, make arrangements um, before the, the actual services start. So we know who's gonna come uh, and we can make the seating arrangements. So you have to book in, you can't just turn up at the door. So if you need to, uh, it, it, the, the, the booking system will be uh, on Facebook, on the website, uh, we'll be putting emails around uh, so that you know how to book in uh, and which of the services you'll be able to come along to. Uh, and, and once that's in place, it's going to be just great. We're just going to really look forward uh, to meeting uh, one another. Uh, it's going to be hard, um, you know, not doing the hope thing, which is having a, a cup of real coffee and a donut uh, and a, a hug and a handshake and all the rest of it. But we will be together and we will be in God's presence. And that's the important thing for us. Yeah, it really is, isn't it, Chris? And we're, we are both, and I know the elders are very excited that we are at this point and we can do this. And I can't wait to, to see people in 
person again. And so just just to conclude, um, as Chris is saying there, um, there is a booking system. And guys, please listen to us. Please don't leave it last minute. Um, I know that some of you, uh, naughty, naughty, booked in very last minute for some of the drive-ins. And uh, guys, can I please encourage you, really help our team. So what to look out for, as Chris said, information will be going out. We'll be sending out um, an email uh, very soon over the next few days. Look out for that. That will begin to show you how you can book in. Um, and you need to register your interest. So there'll be two different systems for the services at Hope Central and the services at the cinema. Um, and there'll be slightly different ways that, that we book in. And, and just bear in mind that places are going to be limited because of distancing. So you won't be able to come uh, for example, to the Hope Central service every single week. Uh, we want to make space for one another. And also we want to make space for those who are perhaps seeking Jesus and, and aren't even part of this church yet. So we want to make sure that this isn't just for us, but that we're opening this uh, to others as well. So guys, we are very excited. Um, and just to reiterate there, that's, that we're going to be doing two gatherings on Sunday mornings. That's going to be at 9.45. Um, and 11 a.m. And I know that, that some of you are maybe used to coming in the afternoons and we've had to make some changes. We're trying to, we've had to draw a lot of resources together to do this. And this is the best way that we can secure a venue, that we can get our team functioning. And because we're doing multiple things all at the same time, this is the best way it works. So please um, just, just bear with us with that. I, I, please bear in mind that, that, that there's more to life than just the timing that suits us. There is a pandemic and we need to work together. We're a family and just uh, just grow together in this. I think there'll be some exploring for us all to do as we journey forward here. But we know that God wants to meet with us. He has more for us. And so we just encourage you in that. Thanks guys for watching and uh, we will see you very soon. Bless you. <laughs>